Yahoo. What's going on, people? Out there, Tutorials Project V9 here, and guys, up another tutorial. And this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to keyframe Video Copilot product Twitch properly. Um, now, in the video description of this video, I'm going to have a link to VideoCopilot.net. Go check out their uh, website and their products. They have pretty good products. This is one of their products right here. Optical flares, very nice plug-in for Adobe After Effects. But anyway, yes, oh yes, you already know I cracked it. You already know, you already know, cause I'm bad like that. I'm bad. I'm bad, right? Right? Okay. But anyway, the first thing we're going to do is take our video clip and import it into uh, um, Adobe After Effects, and you know, just drag it to the timeline. Then we're going to go into the effects and presets. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and select Twitch and just drag it onto our clip here. And then we're going to go into the effects controls and the animation presets. Just click on that box. And as you see, they have a lot of effects for Twitch. So you can just go through and just see the one that you like. But I'm just going to choose Bad Distortion for this tutorial. And you see, our problem is, is that when we select our animation preset, um, it's going to twitch throughout the whole video. Let it, now, let's say that um, it's a certain part of the video that I like, and I just want it to twitch. Well, that's the reason why I make this video, you know, to show you how to keyframe it properly. So, let's say that I wanted to make it twitch between 0 seconds to 5 seconds. Well, the first thing I'm going to do... It's going back into my effects controls and we have to set it up to be keyframed. So what we're going to do is we're going to click into the little stopwatches there and now it's ready to be keyframed. Now we go back into our timeline here and we click on this arrow and then effects. You're going to get our keyframe which you know you can see it better and you know it's a lot easier to work with. All right. So once we have set up our first keyframe, we're going to go back into the effects controls and turn it down to zero. All right. And then we're going to go to five seconds. And we're going to turn our amount up. And this is where you know you can fool around with it and stuff like that. So just like then just fool around with it. And then go about five seconds after the second keyframe or doesn't really matter and then um, turn it back down to zero and see what we have done is our first keyframe we started at zero and then once we play the clip it is now twitching and once it has passed the second uh, keyframe it is now going to go back to zero which means it's going to twitch between the um, it's going to twitch between the uh, zero seconds and five seconds okay so now let's say that I wanted to make it twitch between 10 seconds and 14 or 13 seconds 10 seconds and 14 seconds alright so what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> click on 10 seconds here and like always we're gonna set our keyframe to 0 and then we're going to go to 14 and then we're going to turn our amount up and our speed up and then about five seconds after the second keyframe we're going to turn it back down again and just like that you're now keyframing so we went from zero seconds to five seconds it's going to twitch and then ten seconds to fourteen seconds it's going to twitch and then it, you know it's going to stop. So it's going to twitch, then it's going to stop, then it's going to twitch again, and then it's going to stop. It's very, very simple. If you have any problems, please feel free to contact me. Um, but anyway, I'm Tutorials Project V9, and I will catch you guys later.